Hi, Lydia. My name's Daphne. Good to hear from you. Thank you very much for getting involved with us at IELTSpodcast.com. Really happy to get your essay here and to give you your correction before your exam, which is on Saturday. Great that you have an exam. Woo! Where are you doing it? And are you doing the IELTS indicator test, which I know is quite popular now? because many test centers are closed. Uh, so do tell me some background would be great. This is a really difficult essay, international marketing. So we are talking here about advertising, okay? This is, we're not really talking about trade. This is gonna be on the advertising. Uh, so invasive and an intrusion into countries. Others say it's a good thing, like necessary. Discuss both sides and give your opinion, okay? In the modern world, globalization is having a huge impact uh, in, or impact on, I go on, every country and economy around the world, okay? Either every country's apostrophe, economy, but I think here every country and economy, okay? The benefits are obvious. Mm, okay, you need to tell me what they are. Uh, so join this together since don't just go the benefits are obvious without telling me yeah the benefits are obvious since then you could take out the, the market boundaries have fallen and the international marketing you don't need the watch out for articles and international marketing is growing bigger as well as expanding every year so growing bigger is the same as expanding uh, and I need you here um, to tell me that this I, I, I need this word advertising. I need you to show me immediately that you understand this essay is advertising and not trade. So here you need to paraphrase. International advertising is growing big as well as expanding. Okay, rather than growing bigger, you could have more significant as well as expanding every year. Okay, that's a bit higher level. If we take a look at the big picture, it may seem wonderful, but we have to dig deep. Okay, this is not very academic. Okay, so the style for this essay has to be very academic. So you've made some points here. Market boundaries have fallen. Okay, that's expanding. Okay, this, uh, this development is uh, maybe could impact positively on uh, maybe bringing cultures closer together but could negatively affect uh, small businesses something like that so you need to tell me a little bit about what you're going to talk about in the essay so literally introduce the essay and then you want a few lines saying this essay we'll discuss key issues using examples from and I would choose your country wherever you are a newspaper or somewhere in your country so this is what your introduction has to do it has to literally tell me a little bit about what you are going to say in your essay okay? on one hand some people consider now who are these people for me when you say some people I think well who okay so some businessmen or some uh, business professionals, something like that. It's very easy to say some people, but it's also very easy to say who these people are. Okay, so that's really important. I'm going to put in that bit as a correction there. So on the other hand, some businessmen consider international marketing as an invasion. You can't use the same word as the as they have in the question. You need to paraphrase uh, as unwelcome. Yeah, uh, which is a lovely word. And by taking into consideration some aspects, they may be right. Okay, don't have any judgment in here. This is an academic essay. You have to stand away. Okay, take a big step back. This is not about you. You can give me your opinion at the end, also at the beginning, actually, with an opinion essay. Otherwise, you need to stand back. Okay, um, okay as unwelcome, sorry, um, and tell me why. Why would it be unwelcome? So go straight into this. Forget that bit and go, because. 
it could have a negative impact on local companies who are not able to keep with it, compete with international brands, even if their products could be better in terms of quality. Very nice. So just reconnect that sentence. Another impact could be on local tradition. So don't talk about our. That's not right again for this kind of essay. Could be on uh, local, well local, well established. So add some adjectives in there as well, traditions, as well as habits. Okay. One example. Okay. So again, this, you don't need this sentence. This sentence is not doing anything in the essay. So I want to hear more about what is the negative impact. Okay, so here, for instance, in my country, about 30 years ago, so say, wherever you are, okay, recent reports have uh, stated or have shown that in Italy, for example, Italy, about 30 years ago, yeah, uh, homemade lemonade, so not we used to serve, so take out we, homemade lemonade, homemade lemonades were frequently, or were usually, the beverage of choice, whereas today, okay, uh, today, this has been replaced by the popular, well-known brands of Coca-Cola or Fanta, something like that, okay? So it is better to say recent reports have shown are using more academic language. So homemade lemonades were the drink of choice. So again, this is what I'm trying to do is upgrade your language, uh, get it into a higher level more academic style. You've got some lovely ideas, okay? You've got some really nice ideas in here. You understand the question, which is absolutely great, so well done on that, but it's a question of getting the writing uh, a little bit more formal, and as we do that, we're taking out some of the sentences for, which are a little bit more informal and a bit more casual, okay? On the other hand, so again, take out we, yeah? On the other hand, uh, the benefits of international advertising campaigns, I'd go, and a high corporate profile, uh, uh, benefits from, okay, uh, can be seen in many countries, not necessarily every country, in many countries, okay. Uh, here. So a sentence like this is too short. Okay, there's no verb in there either. So you need to have, you can't have a sentence like that with no verb. So um, can we see in every country? Uh, take that out. So you'd have to say, for example, uh, so for um, from um, increasing employment opportunities. Uh, to raising standards and offering citizens more choice when it comes to purchasing uh, products. Because we're talking about consumers and we're talking about buying things, okay? Uh, so you could add something like that. So this Great possibility for economic growth, great impact on labour market. This is not a sentence because you haven't got a verb in there. Yeah. So you really would lose marks on that. Okay. It's so really try and stress to you the importance of writing long, complex sentences so you have a great score on your grammar and a great score on your vocabulary as well. So, for example, Coca-Cola. Well, you've, you've used Coca-Cola. Can you just make another company, maybe? Uh, has over 200 employees. Okay, that's talking about the job. Okay. Um, now, this is what I want you to be talking about. That is great. Okay, so use that as your example. 
So, so for example, not only um, have citizens been able to buy consumers been happier, but the standards of promotion and advertising have been raised by this international competition. So that's lovely. You could use that definitely. In conclusion, now don't go, I would say, I believe that. So go uh, very professional again. I believe that it is important to accept new rules that globalization is imposing on the world, as well as being flexible, uh, flexible and being adopted. We wouldn't use it quite like that. We'd probably say being flexible in adopting them, being flexible in adop adopting and adapting to them. We could have actually, that would be quite nice to have both those in there. Okay. Um, Again, take out we. Okay, there is no doubt it is important to be intelligent. I wouldn't use smart, but informal, intelligent and local minded. Yes, and turn negative effects in our favor. Okay, rejecting or confronting these uh, not rules, maybe these um, ideas from overseas or better developed countries um, would not. So you can't have wouldn't, you can't use that contraction object with that. You have to have formal. Okay. Um, so let me just summarize this for you. Okay, you've done a nice essay here. Well done. You would score marks on the organization here is pretty good on this essay. You've answered most of the question, you haven't really addressed this issue of advertising because this is what's important. I think you need to address this idea here, economical form of education, okay, spreading ideas. You've talked about, yes, okay, it's been financially good or teaching people about adverts, but what about this? So, for example, a TV series on Netflix in English that you might watch is teaching you culture yeah and teaching you language so this is this kind of idea international marketing international promotion ideas coming in from other countries so in terms of task achievement there's a little bit missing there okay in terms of coherence we need to get make sure this introduction is really tight and make sure this okay, is absolutely in the right order you've got some good things going on there in terms of the language and the grammar, um, I think you need to work a bit on academic language, try and upgrade your language where you can. Uh, so instead of using people, use businessmen, try and add some adjectives in there, which would help you a bit. And also show me some really good grammar. Show me a variety of tenses. Show me some conditional sentences. Uh, really try and show off some grammar. OK, so we don't give band scores because I don't know how long it took you. OK, you're not writing in exam conditions, so it would be unfair to you. But I try to show you what you would need to work on, OK, in order to get a good band score. This would be getting you around about, around about 6.5 maybe. Um, but there's quite a few things that I think you can do quite easily to pull it up to a good 6.5, OK? Um, so I really hope that's helped you. Um, please, if you want to get another correction, I think you can get a $19 correction. Uh, that might be a good idea before Saturday. Uh, good luck.